So when I hear the fact that the, your organization, the Pacific Clinics, that you're seeing an opportunity to invest, build on Loco without having expertise, right? Like meaning you need, you might need some outside consulting, but you don't have to necessarily be like experts in tools like it used to be to build the solutions that you possibly need. I think that's refreshing to hear because there's definitely been a mismatch. I think there's been a long mismatch between what vendors have promised and what <laughs> is actually possible. So to hear you on the front lines actually doing it, Pretty darn exciting. You know, there's a famous quote when it comes to technology and implementation. You know, Arthur C. Clarke says, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. For yourselves, as you saw the Trailblazers building applications for you or process improvements for you, was there ever a moment where you're like, what just happened? Like, this is amazing. This is insane. This has totally helped me. I'd love to hear your perspective. Was there a moment where you realize, like, wow, our business or has changed or my time has been changed. I know I'm inherently selfish. So when I see someone do something that takes off a lot of pain work on my plate, I'm like, yes, this is amazing. <laughs> Eleanor, your dad's already nodding. So jump in there. What what did you see where you're like, this is like magic? Well, it was funny because when I threw in the wrencher to say, you know, they now automation was great, but we need validation. And in my head, in my world, it was like, okay, this would literally take years to do. So how will they do it? in this time that we have because they're still expected to do it but they did you know they addressed it and going through legends of loco the taping was was pretty surreal i mean i'm watching them i'm watching them pull things together they're asking me questions it's great and then as they did their presentation that's when i thought oh my gosh oh my goodness i mean that was magical for me that was just mind-blowing it was phenomenal it was breathtaking you know there are things in there that i just thought i know this story you know it's years that's why i said you know hopefully it doesn't take 20 years that is not a joke you know they did it they responded to it and that's exactly what we need we've always anytime a change would come we would much chagrin go okay can we see if they really want that you know do they really want that can we not do that every single time and we work in, in a, like i said in a number of counties and each county has their own rule even though in one state each county has their own rule. We've resisted change because it's just so difficult on us and our infrastructure is not designed to be able to make changes at the whim just like that. But with low code, you can, okay? So I didn't like a design that way. Not only did I get one design, I got three options for the same request. And so just being able to change at the whim that is such a huge part for organizations like us that have to, you know, and regulators don't realize what it means. They, they think it's just a simple thing. You know, it might be the right thing to do for, you know, the consumers, for them to have better access to services, you know, whatever that, care, that might be. But implications for organizations like us to make that change is, is huge. And it's not just in the clinical, it's a ripple effect throughout the organization. So to have Loco to be able to change pretty easily, it's just amazing. Jason, I didn't know if you had a moment where you're like, wow, this is amazing. This is going to fundamentally transform the way we operate. I will tell you, when she cried, those, <laughs> those are tears of joy. Okay, <laughs> What was really amazing to me was the 15, 30 minutes that the teams had. That's all they had to understand the business requirements. I mean, we sit in meetings for hours, multiple meetings to come up with requirements, right, to find a solution. They had a 15, 20 minute debrief by Eleanor. And then they came up with a solution and it wasn't even two days because one of the days was all of the other things they had to do. So their real programming and product was maybe a day. That was incredible. The thing that I was, that I really, really like, it comes up so much in our business. When we look at our service and the multiple languages and trying to find folks that can speak multiple languages, especially in the Bay Area, that translation feature that one of the teams put in, that was like a, a magic moment. I was thinking. IT Visionaries is brought to us by Salesforce Platform and Dreamforce 2022. Catch the news and insights coming out of Dreamforce this year for free on Salesforce Plus. Just visit salesforce.com slash plus. Content will start rolling today, September 20th.